Hello guys, Enrique here and as the title say, today I'm going to show you how you can improve the performance of Cyberpunk 2077 with two small fixes. For this fix it's going to be modifying two files of the games, so before you start doing any modifications, make a backup of those files into your desktop or into another folder, so if you run into any problems you can always restore them to the previous state. The first thing that you want to do is to go into the folder of the game. For that, if you're using Steam, I'm going to show you right here what you have to do. You go into your library of games, you right click onto Cyberpunk and you click on properties. From here, you go into local files and browse local files. And on this folder, you want to go into engine, config, and here you have the memory pool budgets. Open this file with the text editor like for example Notepad, and as you can see right here, here are the pool memories that the game is the minimum allowed to use. And as you can see, PC is configured the same as Durango and Orbis, Durango and Orbis being the one for the PlayStation and the Xbox. What you want to do is to change them. The pool CPU, you want to put right here around half the memory of your system half. So for example, if your system has 8 gigabytes, you want to put 4. If you have 16, you want to put 8. You can try a little bit more, but don't go too high up. Leave at least 4 or 6 gigabytes for your operating system, that is Windows in this case. So I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, so I want to change this to 16 gigabytes. And you want to change right now, after you change the CPU, you want to change the full GPU. And for that, you have to look the model of GPU that you have and to put exactly the amount of VRAM that you have in there. For example, mine is the RTX 2080 and it has 8 gigabytes of RAM, so I want to change this to 8. If you are not sure how much RAM your graphic card has, please look in Google, look your model, and then you can change it right here. Now you want to go into File, Save As, and down here you can see text documents, you want to change that for all files. Select again the Memory Pool Budgets file and click Save. This is going to ask you that you want to replace it, Click yes and that's it for the first fix for the second one if you are using an intel processor you don't need to watch this this is only going to be for amd ryzen user the problem is how the configuration is made of this game this one to look if you have a previous architecture of the amd processors like bulldozer and desactivate the use of all the cores and threads on your ryzen processor as you have a ryzen have lots of power under the hood, you have lots of processing power, you have lots of threats, you want that the game can take advantage of all of them. So we want to change that. You can make it in two different ways. The easiest way is to go into this link right here, you only have to download this mod, I'm going to put all the links on the description down below, download it and install it. And that's it, it's going to make the work for you. If you want to make it yourself, well, that is another story. We are going to go right here and to download the HXD hex editor for Windows. You want to go in the latest version, download it. You want to choose right here your language. I choose English. I already downloaded and I install it. And when you have it installed, let's open the file. And here you want to search for the Cyberpunk 2077.exe file. So you want to go into open. You want to go again to the file folder where you have your game. For example, for me, it's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Cyberpunk 2077, Bin, and then X64. And here you're going to have the file. I already modified it, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you my backup copy that I have right here on the desktop. Let's open it out. And you're going to see right here a bunch of numbers and letters. You want to search for one specific thing. Click on search, find, and hex values. Right here you want to type this string right here. It's a little bit long, so again, I'm going to leave it in the description down below. Click OK. Here it is. And for all of this string, you only want to change one thing only. You want to change the first number, the 75. Click on it. And you want to change it for E, B. That's it. That's all the changes that you have to do to make that Cyberpunk 2077 use all the cores of your CPU, AMD Ryzen CPU for that is. Probably up to 20 or 25% performance increase on this game, smoothness, 
less of lag and faster loading times. But of course, these have to be with the system that you have. It's not going to be the same for everybody. Some people is going to get 20%, some people is going to get 5%. That's all I have for you guys. I really hope this has helped you. If you find the video interesting, don't forget to drop a like and tell me in the comments down below how these fixes have improved the performance of this game in your PC. I always try to answer you all. And if you're new to the channel and you really like the content, a subscriber will always be appreciated. Thanks for watching my friends, have a really nice day and like always, see you in the next time. Bye bye.